Praise the Lord, saints, and welcome back to FFT, Food for Thought Ministries, where we move with purpose and our walk with Christ over here. My name is Rokisha Muhammad, and I am back with another video. This is something a little bit different. Um, I would consider this a, um, what is this, an application, an application video. So yeah, so basically what this video is going to be about is how to memorize scripture, how to memorize scripture, or at least one way to memorize scripture, amen? At least that's what I'm doing. I'm, there's so many different ways you can do it, but this is just how I'm doing it. And I just wanted to share, since I was sitting here um, writing these out, I said, ooh, make a video, amen? So yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Initially, I was writing scripture out on these little cards here, um, just writing out scripture, and I was putting them in this little box got this from like uh where I get this at Walmart for like a dollar or two dollars or something like that and some index cards I have a lot of different index cards you can get these at the dollar store or Walmart Target these are just blank ones with no lines then I also have some with the lines like these over here a couple of stacks um, these, I think, was 50 cent or two for a dollar or something like that. You can also get them at the dollar store, Dollar Tree, whatever you got going on. You can also put them on sticky pads. Um, you know, I'm going to be putting some on these sticky pads, too, because I'm going to put some of these on my wall. And that's my plan to put um, scripture that I'm trying to memorize. Stick them right here in front of this wall in front of me when I do my videos where I sit at. I'll put five up as a time at a time, and as I memorize them, I'll take them down and put another five up. That's what I plan to do. So I just wanted to get on here and share what I was doing, because if you don't know, if you haven't seen my other video, I have an actual prayer Bible. So these were actually scriptures initially when I started. This was my box where I put my scriptures at for my prayer box, right? But now since I have a prayer Bible, which I already shared in another video... Um, I go in here and I just put um, some of my prayers that I write out. Now it, it ain't even flipping to none. But anyway, I have some prayers in here written out. I have some prayers in here written out that I have written out. And uh, dang, it ain't showing none of them. But anyway, I just I was sitting here transferring my box, uh, all my cards into my. I find the scripture and then write the prayer out since I no longer need this since I'm using the Bible. Amen. Oh, here goes some. So I, I do got some in here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I appreciate that. But um, so, yeah, so I go in here, find scripture according to the word of God. Then I write my prayers in the side. So this is my specific Bible for prayers. So I was sitting here going through my little scriptures. And I said, well, let me sit in here and transfer these over since I don't no longer need to use this because I have a prayer book. I'm in a prayer Bible. And then I just have them sectioned out like, I hope y'all can see this. Now, these scriptures, I usually get three to five scriptures at a time. And I'll write them out. This, this stack is for encouragement. This stack was for um, wisdom. Yeah, wisdom. This one was for promotion. Um, I thought I had some more encouragement, wisdom, promotion, and then I have some for asking God for things. And then I needed to look up some more scriptures for guidance. I need to find about three or four more scriptures for guidance and make that a stack for cleansing myself or just being clean. I need to get about three or four more for this one and then surrendering. These are just scriptures that I was wanted to have prayer for, right? So I'm not doing that anymore. I'm putting them all in this. Uh, I'm going to transfer all these into my Bible. So I said, well, what I'm going to use this box for now, right? So now it's like, oh, you can use it for writing your scriptures out that you want to memorize. Amen? So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I can move this out the way now. So what I'm doing is I'm getting scripture. Like this is Luke 17 and 5. So this is what I'm doing. I'm writing it out. 
Luke 17 and 5. And Luke 17 and 5 is about increasing your faith. So then I put the scripture on this side. And it says, the apostle said to the Lord, increase our faith. Because it's one thing to know the word. Because I know a lot of word. I just don't know the book and the verse. And I'm not going to always have time to look it up in the uh, Google it. Because I might be driving. I might be attacked under, while I'm driving. And I need to be able to give God back his word. And I want to be able to say book and verse. Or I'm talking to somebody in the street or whatever. So I want to be able to give them book and verse. And we can be able to look it up together. So I want to be able to give God back his word. And memorize the book and the verse. That's just me. And then so this is something that I'm trying to put into practice. So hopefully you will be interested in this and want to do the same thing. Amen. So anyway, let me. OK, so we already know we're going to write it out on one side, write the scripture on one side and then write the. Uh, I mean, write the book and verse on one side and write the scripture on the other. So I did want to just do an example, which is pretty self-explanatory. But which one I want to do. Um, like Philippians 4 and 13. Let me see. Philippians. Philippians. Oh, see, here, here we go right here that I had just did this one today. The apostle said to the Lord, increase our faith. And then here go my little prayer. I said, dear Lord, please increase my faith daily in Jesus name. Um, to 2021. So that I found the scripture on what I need to do to increase my faith. Wrote me a little prayer, dated it, bam. So this is what this whole Bible is for only. So what did I tab right here? I'm sorry, this wasn't planned. I just got on here and about to do this. Okay, so Philippians 4 and 13. So here you go, Philippians chapter 4. Let's find 13. Here it is right here. I can do all things through Christ. I mean, it says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. So I think the King James Version says, I, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But this is the, um, I think it's the ESV. What is this? Yeah, this is the ES, ESV Version. So this one is saying, 14. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. So let me just highlight that real quick so I don't lose my place. And then I'll write me a prayer next to it in a little while. But right now, I just want to show you what I'm doing on how to memorize these cards, right? So let me scoop this up. Get my little black marker. And I know that this is what Philippians... Oh, this pen is drying out. Philippians 4 and 13. Amen. Because I know that scripture by heart. I just don't know the book and verse. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I mean, I think a lot of people know that, but I didn't know the I didn't know the book and the verse. But I'm about to memorize that. So then on this part right here, I'm going to just put, I can do all things through, I'm going to put Christ because that's how I'm used to saying it. I can do all things through Christ who... Strengthens me. Amen. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. What is that? Bam. Philippians 4 and 13. So now this is what I'm going to be using this little box for. This is going to be my memory cards. So now I can still use this. So this is what this is basically what I got on here to show you what I'm doing. So I'm gonna have I got a I got a few scriptures I'm gonna write out, but um I just wanted to show on here show you really quick what I'm doing. Philippians four and thirteen. Philippians four and thirteen. Philippians four and thirteen. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The apostle said to the Lord, increase our faith. 
Luke 17 and 5. Okay, you see this? This is going to be fun. So anyway, I'm going to get this together. But I just wanted to jump on here really fast to show you guys. But the ones, ooh, excuse me, but the ones that I'm going to put on this wall, I'm going to use the sticky so it can just stick on the wall until I'm done memorizing it. You can put them on your bathroom mirror. You can put them in your dashboard, on your car. You can put them on your computer, put them on the side of your TV, put them on your refrigerator. Just put them where places that you frequent the most. You know what I'm saying? We should go to the bathroom every day. So a bathroom mirror is good or your bathroom wall um, while you're brushing your teeth. You just say that over and over on your door when you get ready to go out. You know, just place them somewhere. And um, so that you can um, be able to memorize these scriptures because these are our weapons. These is our, this is our weapon against the enemy. This is our encouragement. If we need to be encouraged, it's for multiple things. This, this is our guidance, okay? These is a, this is our guidance. This is our everything, right? This is our everything. We need to know God's word. We need to hide it in our heart. We need to know it verbatim. Not saying you got to memorize the whole Bible. But I'm making it a point to know book and verse because I don't know who I'm going to come in contact with and somebody might want me to pray for them. And I want to be able to know book and verse, give them some scripture to take with them, whoever I may run into and just be like, I think it's in or no, I'm sounding unsure about what's going on with my walk. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, I'm not saying nobody, if you don't know it, you unsure in your walk. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm just saying for me, I want to know the book and verse. So hopefully this video was um, encouraging to get you an idea on what you can do. Again, get you some index cards, some sticky notes, get you a little box. If you want to do, you put them in a box. So call them your memory card box. I'm going to put something on here. I'm not going to decorate this. I, I, I got too much other stuff to do, but um, I might put a card on top of here and call it memory box. And I know these will be my cards that I plan to memorize. And again, I'm going to put some on this wall right here in front of me um, about five of them at a time and try to remember them, memorize them. And I do want to probably put a time limit on it because I'll be lagging. Just be like, okay, you got two weeks to memorize these or you got a month to memorize these five or however. But I know I'm going to have to put a time limit because if I don't, I know me, I, I won't be um, on it like I need to be on it. But anyway, so I'm about to end this video and finish transferring these ones that I already had. Excuse me transfer all these other ones that I already had into this Bible, into my prayer Bible. Since I don't need to have these as prayers anymore, I can put them in my prayer Bible. So that's what I'm sitting here doing um, on my Saturday. And then I'm going to study in my warfare book as well. Since I don't watch TV, this is my entertainment. Amen. Just um, relishing and delighting in the word of God. So I hope you guys have a blessed and prosperous weekend. God bless you and have a great day. And I hope this helps. And remember, we are moving with purpose and our walk with Christ. Peace.